Recently, a symposium was held at the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art around the question, is photography over? I thought of the famous declaration attributed to Paul de la Roche just around the time of the birth of photography. From now on, painting is dead. Although we tend to kill and resurrect a medium every now and then, still the issue was on my mind for quite some time. Photography is pervasive and surrounds us everywhere more than ever. My question is, what in your opinion singles out photography today as an artistic medium? Well, remember, whether or not Paul Delaroche actually said from today, painting is dead, it turned out he was wrong. <laughs> we should remember this, you know, this sweeping. Um, I, but I think that photography so far, that one of its... One of the richest things about photography, for those of us who look at it from, from the point of view of art, is that it's absolutely impossible to draw a line between the artistic functions and traditions of photography and everything else that photography does. It's very messy, it's very um, un... Um, it's, photography is not an ivory tower in the way that, um, in the way that some artistic uh, traditions have been. And I think it's, uh, it's, it's always been a source of, uh, or it has been in certain situations, a source of great anxiety and, um, and desire to establish a greater status for photography and all the rest of that. But, and the, and the, a lot of that anxiety still persists. But I actually think it's been a great strength of photography that it's connected. Its artistic uses ha are, are very richly connected to all of its many non-artistic uses. And I think that's still true now. Well, I think that um, this, this question could be uh, asked also for any kind of media that are, is coming out now. Uh, after photography, like uh, you know, like video, like uh, Arnet, and uh, uh, I remember that we were at uh, at Jude um last week discussing is net art art. So I think that every time that a new tool is presented uh, as an artistic tool, uh, this this question is is over over again. So. Um, I remember, I don't know if you know, <coughs> sorry, Lady Gaga, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so now I'm not going to Picasso, Cezanne, I'm going to talk about Lady Gaga. And in fact, I think that this is a very huge phenomenon. I don't know here, but in Europe, it's, it's and in the States, I think so. So the other day I was, um, reading the, uh, the Guardian, um, uh, English newspaper, it was a, a critic, music critic, that said um, that in order to explain that Lady Gaga is a really uh, good artist, she said, he said, um, she is a very good artist because he showed us the meaning of being alive today. And it's, I think that in a way, it's a good definition of what art is, in a way. It's very simple. It's not very theoretical, not very uh, academic. But in a way, I think that that means that there is kind of connection with our reality that has to be very uh, stick to us. That means that um, this poetic and narrative um, of, of the, of the of our experience, and also this awareness about our today, our, about our context, social, cultural, political, it's a kind of, of um, good uh, mixture that give us, give us the sense that we are still alive. And I think that when you are faced to a great work of art, you feel that you are still alive. That's my point. Thank you.